I want to show you a neat little technique that Jimi Hendrix used in the beginning of The Wind Cries Mary, but I don't want you to just memorize it. I want you to understand why we're doing it so you can use it in other songs. Jimi loved to play in movable chords and just add embellishments. So let's just say we're in the key of A. He can hammer on to the fourth fret of the G string, the fourth fret of the D string, and he would even hammer on to the fourth fret of the A string, but in order to do that we have to move our finger over and catch that A string. So you can hammer on to any of these, which already sounds a little Hendrixy, but he wouldn't just do it in this A, he thinks of this as a movable shape. So we can move this up to say uh, the seventh fret and now we get a D chord and we can do the same things that we were doing down here in A, but now we're in the key of D. So think about playing a D power chord right here and he would go D, D sharp, E. So he's just walking this up. And then he would do that little lick. Only he would start here in D, reach over, grabbing this A string. So this is a really neat lick that he would do. And remember this starts in D, make a D sharp. Now we've made an E chord, so we went D, D sharp, E, and then did it again, but with a hammer on, D, D sharp, and E. That's a really neat technique that you can throw into lots of different songs and lots of different genres. Just these hammer-ons, you know, just these hammer-on ideas are great little tools to have in the bag that you can pull out anytime you want. So I hope that this helps you a little bit, and if you need anything, as always, just reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you.